Coventry Stadium is rocking on day one of the Birmingham 2022 Commonwealth Games. And now the home team backs to the wall, England, led out by Tom Bowen, need a response after a poor performance in their opening match. We take something from what we've just seen from the extraordinary Ugandans. It's quite something of a match. No Alex Davis, the England captain, sitting out this one. You know, he was carrying an injury for Sri Lanka, number eight. Ashan Ratwati, famous try scorer against New Zealand earlier on in the day. But Rob Vickerman Boyd, the Pegs is pumping now. Oh my god, I have to get my heart rate down after that one. Incredible, the game of sevens once again providing moments. Oh, brilliant atmosphere. The crowd now get to continue this energy and try and channel it through this England team who massively underperformed against Samoa. That's the reason why they're third with a significantly battered points difference channel on that third column. And now, chance for some cheers to continue. Sri Lanka have had it tough last few months, both on and off the field. And there should be a bit of one-way traffic. Freddie Roddick gets us underway, and it's slapped back on the England side by Kerr, but lands for Sri Lanka, so they will get first possession with ball in hand to Kumbara it was who clears away from the base and they spread early Senevaratne it's a nice tidy start though from Sri Lanka Sudaka de Kumbara again goes to ground on halfway and it's ripped away though by England and Roddick scoots off Mvadra Mvadra Ridden to ground, that tackle might have just crept up over the shoulder. Referee playing advantage England's way. Little bit of footwork from Adamson, pumping those legs. Sri Lanka's defensive line is nice and organised at the moment. Bowen coming in close to play and now releasing Bavadra out wide, up over the 22. Bowen runs into heavy contact, he's Roddick. And through to the wide Boyland and then Adamson again nice and patient at the moment from the England side still going is Jamie Adamson still able to stand in the tackle eventually caught on the five meter line and then working down a short side as Kerr gets rid of them continuity and patience and the first try of the match goes to Charles and Kerr for England well, continuity needed patience also because of the way Sri Lanka defended this is by no means easy streak for England it's that tackle, the base of the breakdown on Roddick that meant the gap was there. Understand why Radwati wanted to make that tackle, but as soon as you take yourself out of the line, that's when the holes appear, that's why the flags are waving. Consummate start from England, but also impressive from Sri Lanka. Versions away from Freddie Roddick, five points to nil England lead. We've got a sense that the England team have had a bit of a team talk prior to this game to say, right, we cannot leave anything left. Got to come out and have the attitude and desire to really represent your friends and family that are watching. Adamson started brilliantly so far, and they really must keep this tempo up. Fitness will be their key factor. Keep the pace high. Good work in the air, just couldn't quite bring it down, Kurt. Really made some ground to even get hands on that, but couldn't control it. So, Sri Lanka will have the scrum feed on the 22. Come here, come here. Yeah, They're trying to target the ball, just couldn't quite claim it in that collision. And just for reference, 63 points were put on Sri Lanka by New Zealand prior to this game. Again, Sri Lanka, England starting well. We need to try and get the ball back. That comes from their defence. Good hands down low from Sri Lanka. Look good with ball in hand too, as they try and bust through a tackle, Senevaratni. Just knocked off a foot, so it'll be play on though for Ratwata. There's two, Nigel and Ashen, they are not related, not brothers. Oh, there for England though, just got left at the base and that allowed England to swoop on the loose ball and to be able to build, build again. 
great spot tackle Manager though. Mate. Still room for Tom Bowen. Looking to get on the outside of the Sri Lanka captain, sort of Bundan, Bundanya. Play on for England, Roddick. Bowen full of energy, hustle and bustle. Adamson. Rolls out of one tackle, tries to get a fend on the other, drags the defender along to the try line with him. Good score for Jamie Adamson in England second. Big abrasive back rower. The graduate Durham University book start. Let's take it to sevens. With a skill set. That really brings him into this game as a power forward for England, bouncing players off, continuing to run forward, carrying them over the trial, and that's what you need to do against Sri Lanka. Those direct, challenging efforts in attack, providing a couple of tries so far for England. Oh, cracking good kick from out wide as well. Nicely done. So England now 12 points to nil. More of the same needed from Adamson. Roddick, the man in the middle. Slightly different type of player, much more about footwork and link play in the middle. Again, it's Kerr who's been the target for England. And this time again, it lands for Sri Lanka. They try to hack it ahead. It's not off an English hand. Run onside, but play on for Happy Bavadra. So powerful. Boyland. And then on the wrap around Clemenson. Adamson again, he's been prominent to start this match in the first half. Like Boyland again, and now straight up through the middle, Charlton Kerr just put the foot down, spied the gap, and through he went. And a background shot of six Sri Lankan players on their haunches. They know how much effort they're putting into this game. When it comes down to these one-on-one -on -one contests, England are blowing them away. That time Kerr not even needing the collision. The step, the pace, the break, the try. Inversion eased over from out in front. So England now three tries to the good, 19 points to nil. And it's more of the same for England. When they get it, they're looking strong. It's this restart game. They need to try and get the ball back from this possession if possible. And it looks like they will. The bounce is kind again for Kerr and England set away in quick time. And it is the veteran man, Tom Bowen, scoring for England again. Yeah, that's quality. The context of this game is that they got blown away by Samoa, outplayed in every facet, and it was a restart that killed them here. Different story, be it against Sri Lanka, they'll appreciate that, but you have to play what's in front of you. And this is the first half that they would have exactly targeted, significant lead, and getting the ball in the hands of players like Bowen. Bowen missed the 2018 Commonwealth Games and Rugby World Cup sevens in the same year with injury, relishing the chance to play here. Uh, no, it's like yellow card, was it? Was it tackle early or high or both? Yeah. Seen worse, but it is hold a hold yellow hold. card yeah, for England and Jamie Adamson. Yeah, I think he just had so much of the body he could have hit there. I not necessarily think it was a yellow card, but either way, he's on the sideline for two minutes. Probably could have done better. But anyway, Sri Lanka now with a seven on six advantage. And a nice little interplay here for the captain. Away goes Suri, and Sri Lanka are going to score. their second try for the tournament great moment oh, isn't it just a couple of tries against both England and New Zealand will be something this Sri Lankan team really will build upon Bowen pushed away and if anyone wanted to do something for Sri Lanka it's their talismanic captain Suri everything that came from him in that first game was positive he's a real persistent player your quintessential scrum half if you like but Suri is soaring 14 years in this team, and that's a great moment for him. 
striking back for Sri Lanka on half time, but it's England leading 26 points to seven at the break. Sri Lanka huddle. Be pleased to get a second try in as many matches and asking questions of the England defence with ball in hand. Yeah, absolutely. They're going really well. I take nothing away. This is a team that have been fractured with their preparation. But you're going to hear a lot of noise right now. You can't play, get interviewed on the sideline. And this crowd in Coventry fully appreciating this festival of action that the Game of Sevens brings. Now back over England, to England for. Tappy. What needs to be a very efficient second half. Handsome lead, it stands 26-7. They need to build on this and get this crowd okay. making even more noise. Towering kickoff from Sri Lanka. And oh, they've caught England out here. Ashan Ratwata scored against New Zealand. Now he's got one for, against England. What a score, what a try. Oh, look at the ratchets of his team jumping on him. It looks pretty casual, but that is a massive moment. Start of the second half. Clemenson tries to throw the speculative ball across the face of your own post. Always tricky. Poached to perfection. Fans in the crowd just getting settled for this second half and then look up to see another try for Sri Lanka. Ashan Ratwata gets his second try of the tournament and the fans in the stands loving every moment. 26 points to 14, England leading Sri Lanka. And they've gone the same direction again in England. Again, opting to try and bat it back. This time they do recover, but, it, gee, it was a bit hairy for a moment there. England now is Boylan. Bumps off a couple of bodies and then gets around few defenders. He's got the support runner with him. The speed to Will Homer outside. And it's a really good bust-up field by England. And Homer will run around to score again. Oh, that is what's known as a settler. And this crowd went from being mildly appreciative of the Sri Lankan score to being a bit fearful of potential comeback, but Boylan taking the matters into his own hand. So aware of players around him, gives the ball to Homer, who he knows is quicker. And the man who's plied his trade in the championship of 15s. He's looking comfortable in the white spaces and sevens. to get the wardrobe in place no malfunction and the kick good as well 33 14 now restarts low and hard up the middle recovered nicely by Sri Lanka again and get another chance to build once more spinning it back wide to the far side crowd's loving an underdog but I'm not entirely sure how much an English crowd is enjoying Sri Lanka at the moment and here they go again Ratwata straight up the middle offload sticking our great hands Hapugoda Sri Lanka keeping the ball alive and they're in again Bodima it is outstanding breakout from Sri Lanka Bodima scores and they get their third Electric pace on the outside, starts at it initially, 
gets back up in back play. In the meantime, the ball's recycled enough for him to really interject. Loping stride round the outside of Clemenson. And Budima gets his name on this ever growing list of Sri Lankan players making impacts here in Coventry. A salute to the heavens, absolutely. Thirty-three points to nineteen now. England pull down this restart through Hyde. Holding. And they get a penalty to Sri Lanka and a taste for the try line. They've got as well. Hapu Goda just good patience, surmising the options and. And they get the speedsters back in place, spinning it back. The confidence of the Sri Lankans now, just taking every chance they've got. Chandradas, Chandradas. They're going to manipulate the space for Dangche. And a penalty for Sri Lanka again, and another yellow card. Yeah, two minutes on the sideline for Roddick. It really is ruthless. It's and risk win. or reward. If you in tall play the ball in the air and it goes forward, you get in two minutes. The second time in the match that England have been down to six. Sri Lanka made them pay last time. Let's see if they can stretch them again. Burima. Well, back in field. Doesn't go to okay. hand, but picked up by Hitarachari. And no, now it's going to be Sri Lankan off. player, is it? He's going to have a look to his assistant. Knock on here. Yeah. Are you I, saying it's in the tackle yeah, by yeah. six? Not it's not an open play. So it's just a scrum. OK. That is because we stopped the game. It's just a knock-on scrum. Well, Philly Brown asked the question there, was it in the tackle? An assistant to me to Rocket and Eddie said it wasn't. Therefore, oh, it's a oh, yellow card. Okay. Yet the referee ever ruled it and gave the scrum. Just for context, there's no criticism there. But by law, that's another yellow card. And that's what the assistant referee was saying. Perhaps a conversation for the referee and his associate afterwards. Really, Roddick can do nothing about it at the moment, and it'll still be Sri Lanka ball with England under pressure. And six players in their lineup. And there's Rob Vickin and said Sri Lanka full of confidence, full of running. Here's Hapagoda. They have been able to get this man into the action, tries to keep the ball and field. The bounce is kind, but just sat up long enough for England's cover defence to come across and hustle him into the touchline. It's a very strange atmosphere at the moment in this crowd because there's almost encouragement to want to see Sri Lanka go forward, but that general sense that it's almost a bit too easy at the moment for their inroads. This England team defence needs to really up it and increase that physicality. This is not a professional team against them. The standing, as you can see in Pool 8, slightly irrelevant with England losing to Samoa. But still, a little bit concerning from an English perspective for these fans in this stadium. They should be really dominating the Sri Lankan team. Adamson was, took it up to the 22. Now it's Boyland again. It was a little bit slow for England, though. They're still playing with six. And now a bit of pace and space for Tom Emery. And that's better for England as he sized up the options, took the gap and scooted away for a try under the post. You're much better from England. That's exactly what you want to be seeing. With the men wearing white, Tom Emery is a classy operator. Gets that outside line. He's got a wonderful ability to change pace whilst already motoring pretty quick. And then this lovely running style he's got in open play. Much more of a handsome scoreline for England. Positives will be taken from this game, certainly after the back of that summer effort. 40 points to 19 now, England just reassert themselves. Sri Lanka have absolutely asked questions of them. Three tries for the Tuskers. Wonderful work in the air. Put in there, but it's bounced in the hands of England. A kind bounce and a big fin. Jamie Adamson looks like a bit of frustration in that fin to the chest as he goes around to score his second. And then the game as he started it. Adamson, full ball. 
just bully the Sri Lankan defenders. It's what you need to do when you're as big as he is. First fend was decent. Second one was offensive. Look at that. Big fend. Tempo remain high. Still a chance for another score here for England. It's not, it's not gone. Well, punched it's gone on. 10. This time by England. Not and that will be the, be the final act of the match, is it? The referee says we are done. England eventually put Sri Lanka away. 47 points to 19. But a couple of wonderful tries for one of the underdog sides. Sri Lanka scoring three, but England too good in the end. 47-19.